Hello, welcome to another video. This video is going to be about all the different storage I currently use for diamond painting. There are other storage containers available. I just don't have them, so I'm not going to be featuring them on this video. So um, this is just like a showing of what I have. So I'll just go through them one by one and show you examples of how I use them. All right. Okay. I think the first example I am going to do is baggies. Like they come with a lot of kits, usually only like four or five, but you know, if you end up keeping them, you will accumulate a lot of baggies and I keep all of mine. Um, but you know, if a diamond painting already comes in baggies, I don't move it. I just leave it in the baggies. So here's an example of how I kit up a diamond painting with the baggies. I use this, this, um, tray that I got from Dollar Tree. I think it came with two or three for a dollar. And then I use my, um, abundance of these green trays so that and I put them every every two so that when I'm like okay I need to get to number 14 you know it's faster to get through it so here is pretty much how I kit up diamond paintings that already come in the baggies because why kit them up I usually will kit up the bigger ones but this one was a small diamond painting so yeah here is the nice cheap economical way of what's it called diamond painting this cost me 33 cents for this container because everything else i already had all these trays and the diamond painting came with the baggies already okay going continuing on to this dollar tree finds um other another thing i've used a lot to in diamond painting is this um, 21 container pill storage thing that I got from Dollar Tree. Um, it has three connected to each other and then there's seven of these so it does hold 21. I normally need to use at least two of these on diamond paintings um, but with just two of them that's still just two dollars. So here's like an example of a diamond painting kitted up. So yeah, this is just a basic diamond painting kitting up version. And another thing I got from the Dollar Tree are also these bigger containers. Um, it did come with 10 or eight or 10 of them. And I do use these, but not by themselves so and i'll show you that in a few my future portions of my diamond painting but i just figured i'll show you this since i was showing you dollar tree stuff okay another very very common diamond painting um storage unit is this one which is very similar to my it's it is another pill container you know that's why there's seven um by four so you know breakfast, lunch, dinner, nighttime for the pills. And these have 28 in them. Um, I find them perfect for 30 by 40s and below as long as they have less than 28 colors. Um, and yeah, these have four connected to each other. I'm not the biggest fan of these ones just because this these are the containers that I'm most likely to accidentally mix colors in just because you know so when I diamond paint like the current um one I'm using I take out the container from the main container just so that I know that I'm not working on that color but with this there's four of them so I I have mixed up some diamonds in here so yeah but these each of these hold about 800 oh I forgot to say like this one from the Dollar Tree, they hold at like 400 drills. So these are 
So you typically have to use more than one container, like it shows here. Like I already made, um, had to use three for this number one. Um, but yeah, these hold double the size of that the Dollar Tree containers. Um, and I actually have kind of two versions of this, like this one where it's pretty much just rectangular square, while this other one I have is more like rounded here. Um, I actually like this one much better. It's more sturdy. If I could find this by, because I bought this in a diamond painting like multi kit, like different accessory packs. So if I could find this one by itself, I prefer it over these ones. These are not as good quality as this. But like I said, I'm, I, I like these because they're compact, but they're not my favorite because I have accidentally put the drills back in into the wrong container. So yeah, just because there's four connected to each other. So I typically end up just leaving it open while I'm working on it. But yeah, but you know, you have that instinct to just open and close something. So yeah, this one I do use often just because of the compactness. So, um, so this was my very first diamond painting um, containers and it's this, what they call that, sauce packets. Um, I did get them from a restaurant supply store called Smart Food Service. There's a whole bunch of them in Washington State. Like, I actually, when I lived in Seattle, there was actually one closer to me than the closest grocery store. So, yeah, um, so I was able to get 250 of these, I think, for like four something. So <clears throat> here is an example of um, something kitted up with them. I use this egg carton to hold them and, and they hold a lot. Like, look at that, that's, that's a ton. Um, so, and I, I did like my first five or something diamond paintings with these. So even though they are disposable, you can use them a lot. Like, and you know, if you break one, you're not crying because you still have 249 left. Um, but yeah, I, I primarily stop using these just because of just how big they are, like compared to, to this, like, look at how massive this is. So I guess this would be good if you had 30 colors and had a lot of it because this act, I'm actually surprised how much this thing could hold. So yeah, main reason I stopped using this is just because it's massive. Look at it, like it's huge. Okay, but I did use it recently just as a throwback. All right, another container I have are these, um, I don't, I think they're called Elizabeth Ward Doris containers. I did not buy the brand name version just because it's so expensive. And I got these off of AliExpress. They are a little bit different off of AliExpress. I think this handle system is different, but I don't have the, the Elizabeth Ward or Doris ones just because you could get this one off of AliExpress so much cheaper. This one, um, they do come in, in on AliExpress. So I have, here's one that's not being used. Um, they do have different sizes and I got the 50 container one. Like there's one that's 45 where I think you have double of these sizes and like only one line of these sizes. And then there's the one where you just get a whole bunch of the little ones. So I like these primarily because you can kit up like a large amount in one container. Like if you know, you don't want to separate them or not. I don't like having extra baggies sometimes just because it's just easier to not to lose it, I think. But yeah, you can choose what's it called? 
the sizes based off of how much you have. I think these ones hold maybe about 800 to 1,000. The next bigger one probably holds probably about like 1,500. And then the next bigger size, this one, I think could hold maybe 2,500 or, you know, I think what I established was, was like 800, 1600, 2400, and then these ones could hold like 5000. Um, but that's just my guesstimates. So, but yeah, I like I like these um, a lot. Like you can't lose the lid because the lid stuck on there, and the opening is massive compared to like these ones. So you don't have to aim as much because yeah, sometimes just push putting the baggies in there is the, the drills in there from the baggies just take up a lot of effort so this is these containers um they're not my favorite my i'm leaving my favorite for last so um my favorite is actually these harbor freight containers um this one actually i haven't opened this one yet but they come, they call it a 25 piece storage, but it's actually like 24 small things and then one big one. Um, so I typically, I, I love these ones just because, okay, so I'll show you a couple examples of it kitted up. So I did say they came with 24, but if you um, put them up this way, you can fit 27 like three more so since i have several of these i just kind of add subtract depending on what i ha what i need so like so and what i like about them is they're really easy to open and the hole to put the drills in is massive and plus since it is pretty big if you just need like one diamond paint like a one drill I just usually kind of shake this and then you could hit the bottom and then you could just pick one up really really easily so I don't even bother pouring them into a tray sometimes if I only need one and what's it called these things are soft plastic so I think I've seen some people say, oh, it's soft. It's it's not going to be durable. I actually think it'll be more durable just because it's less likely to shatter. Like, like this is like a hard plastic. And I feel like if you drop this in a certain way, it'll probably crack. While these are like a soft plastic. So like, I actually am not worried about them cracking. So... Uh, so I really, really love these containers. My The biggest problem with it is sometimes if you're like, like a diamond will get stuck on the side there. I don't know if you could tell, like it gets stuck in that section between the lid. Um, ooh, here. See, like that. But, you know, that's easy to fix. You just tap it a couple times or when you open it into a tray, you just open it directly over the tray so that when it does fall out, it'll just fall into the trays. And you're, I mean, you're going to put it in the tray anyway. So, so yeah, I do like using these and I usually, I've, I, most of the time I see people put them in like that, but I put them up this way just because it doesn't fall back. Like, I, like when it's this way, it's easy that it'll just kind of tip over, but this way it doesn't like when you take them out and it, plus it lets me put 27 in there. So I'm going to, since I really love the system, I'm going to show you a couple more examples of how I use this. So if there is only 24, I do get like a foam roller and like, you know, one of those foam cores that come with diamond paintings and I use that as a stopper so that these don't fall back. And then another example that I do is like for this diamond painting, I got, so I said I would go back to these containers I got from the Dollar Tree. I do, when there is a massive amount, I do just kind of put them in here. And since there's extra space at the top, I'm still able to close the lid perfectly fine, even though I'm kind of 
mixing and matching my containers. And plus, look, I'm even mixing and matching with baggies just because, you know, I didn't want extra containers just because, you know. So, oh, and another way to use these also is in conjunction with these ones from the Dollar Tree is if you have a lot of colors. I sometimes would put the colors with the least quantity into one of these containers and still be able to put it in there. Well, now that I'm trying to show you, it's not closing, but still put it in there and be able to close it because since the lid is very flimsy or not flimsy, but a soft plastic, it allows you to pretty much warp it like so this is why i love these ones just just they're so practical and they're only 4.99 at harbor freight so yeah you can hear my love for this storage system in my review so yeah those are all my storage systems let me take them all out again so you could see um so there's that my Harbor Freight, I don't, my, what's it called, sauce containers, here is my, what do you call that, baggies, here's my Dollar Tree container, here is my 28 container thing, so there you go, there's all my, ooh, here's my big container from Dollar Tree. Oh, and the baggies. So thank you for watching and please like, subscribe and let me know how I'm doing. Um, bye.